Oh, I've also right. got to get swans. Let's just get the swans now. Let's just do that. Alright, so... Um, first off, Alton, you hear a faint scratching noise on the outside of your, um, crate that you're in. Does it wake me up? Yes, it does. Uh, does it sound like rat? No, it sounds like... You ever, like, run paper across, like, a desk or something when you're in school and it made that, like, odd noise? Yeah? It's making that. I'm gonna try to peek out uh, slowly and stealthily to look and see what's there. Um, as you peek out, a piece of paper comes in and pokes you in the eye and then oh unfolds. I, I'll take it and uh, look around and walk out of the barrel with the crate. Eh, as long as nobody's around to catch me or do anything about it. You look around, you see a few different Wokus. Nobody seems to be paying attention to you, though. I, uh, I'll read the note. Alton and Bird. <laughs> I figured out some stuff. Aussie. Hey. Uh. <laughs> is it, like, dark out? <laughs> uh, looking around, it's a little bit past noon. Probably. Maybe about, like, two. Uh, As you turn the piece of paper over, it says, P.S. I want this piece of paper back. P.S. What? I can't read. I want this piece of paper back. Uh... I, uh, take the piece of paper and put it inside the little crevice that I put in, uh... Put it in the, the other stuff inside of Seth in. So that nobody will take it. Uh, and I count my money. How much money do I have? Uh, you have 30 gold from that pouch that you... Well, actually, I believe I put a... Why I think it was 30-something. Only 30? You said it 32. was like a quarter. 32. You said it was a quarter. That was about a quarter of what you had. If I... Alright, as Not I'm walking... Much. I want to just scan the faces of everybody until I leave this place, to see if I see that woman who stole from me. Give me an investigation. Not, Not now, just passively. Okay. Just, just no. in case. Just for you. To throw in the no. I'm gonna actually beat the crap out of you. And, while I have a moment... You hear a knock on Alton's, or uh, Jada's door. <laughs> uh, while I have a moment, I'm going to, um... Just check, check and see if the tuning fork is still on me. Uh, you check, and yes, it is. Okay. Uh, you see the woman. Just a couple seconds later, we just hear from Alton. You're ecstatic. Exactly. Uh, I'll take the tuning fork and also hide that inside of Seth. Okay. Uh, Someone's you... just gonna steal Seth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Alright, so um, you begin stuffing more items in him. I'm gonna say around this time as Edward and... Oh... Um, I believe it was... Fine. And me. Yeah. I'm there too. You you two are the ones, Edward and Holden, you are the ones that were actually like looking over the ships. Um, you do Just notice... Yeah. Uh, actually, fine, you would notice this little tiny little speck appear outside of one of the tiny little ant-sized crates. Mm. From Do you. I them? A chicken. Do I notice them? Uh, I'm gonna say, yeah, you guys notice each other. Uh, no, she's normal sized. I know, I'm kidding. I'm gonna just, uh, walk over to that and say, hey, uh, thanks for helping me. I am pretending like I don't know him. Cool. What's your name? My name's Arthur. No, my name's Arthur. 
I'm looking, Alfie's name is written right there, I just, I can see it. That's why. I don't know yet. Who else is here? It's just, uh, Fine, Cross, Jack, and, and That's me? It. Yeah, us four. Okay. Well, did you guys do what you needed to do? I took a nap. I'm still looking for what I need to find. Oh. Well, I need to sell this, uh, tuning for- Oh wait, you need this tuning for don't you? We need this tuning for Oh yeah, yeah never mind. I to get back. I, I was- Yeah, I'm good now. I didn't- I wanted to sell it. It's a nice tuning guy. fork that's tuned to the plane of fire Yes, yeah, so anyone's right. gonna want to buy that. Well, well, I should go take a look at the clothing sh shop. I found what I need to see here. I'm not gonna go with Jack. Right. So who I... does go with Jack? I'm staying here at the docks. Uh, fine. Are you staying at the docks? Mm, yeah. All right. So Jack walks off. Um. Holden, give me another investigation check as it's been a while since the last one. Hey. Okay, nope, I pressed edge. Still gonna drop that investigation check though. I just need to get out of edge. Looking around, you ask a few questions. Nobody really seems to want to talk to you, mostly because you're a weirdo with a mask. Just like, and like spiky hair and just like. You're, you're looking like an anime protagonist right now. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Go to hell. I, I want to ask you something, Croft. If Edward needed a disguise, why didn't we just give him your mask? Well, I don't need it. I can disguise myself. It's just I don't need to if they don't know who I am. To them, I am Jack. And to right. that question, I respond... Because... Do you not want to take your mask off? You held a kid hostage. We should talk no, about that. No, 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 no. That's in the past. That's in the past. The <laughs> past. It, was more, it was not more than ten minutes ago. I it was back. in the past, too, but, you know, we still talk about Shut that. up, Riker. Wrong prof. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> you aren't even here. Shush. Yeah, shush. Who's Hitler? Uh, what? Yeah, what? What is a Hitler? What, what doesn't need that mask, anyway? Oh, what's up with your hair? Why do you look weird? What's up with you? Stop asking so many questions, or the guards will know exactly where you are. Uh, yeah. Um, as you guys are talking, uh, somebody carrying a rather large crate in both hands moves up towards you. Hey, could you get out of the way? Yeah. Uh, Just gonna step out of the way. I'll, I'll clear the way for him. Alright. So I'll, I'll ask you these questions later. So now. We, you will ask me these questions, never. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, where are you guys headed to? I can't remember. Wait, hang on. Was there anything particularly particularly interesting about the person carrying those bo that box? Uh, looking over, they just seem to be a Doc Woku. It looks like mm -hmm. wherever they were stacking this stuff, uh, closer towards the ship, that's been folded up, and now they're placing it somewhere that you are right next to. Is there any like in? Is there anything on the side of the box? Uh, no. It's just a crate. Hmm. We could always try oh. to pop it open and see. I'm gonna follow him, and I'm gonna try to pop open that crate when no one's looking. Uh, give me a stealth check. Actually, uh, wanna... um. So. You're still going to pop it over, open no matter what your check is, if you do roll this. Just want to point this out. There's not going to be any retconning that. Okay, so it's going to open okay. no matter what. Just Yeah, just how stealthily it, you do it. You have the option of not doing it and not rolling the stealth. It's just up to you. Klaus, since I'm right there with him and I see he's like following somebody, I just want to help him like look out while he opens up the crate. Alright. So, with Alton acting as your lookout, Alton, just roll me a... I want to say because you're being a lookout, you can roll Perception, or you can roll Stealth. Either one. Alright, so, Holden, you have advantage on the Stealth roll. 
like you need it. Okay, so <laughs> you pop I it can... open, and it seems to be different kinds of fruits. This is mainly just cabbage. Well, different fruits and vegetables. This is just mainly cabbage. Any apples? Um, looking over, you would probably guess that apples would be in another one. If I don't see any apples, I won't take them. I want to take a closer look at the fruit. The, the stuff inside the things. Fruit. Really decapitated heads! Exactly! No. Give me an investigation. Have... We don't need that situation again. This is... Please, if there's ever a time in this game that it could give me something, it would not be now. <laughs> Alright. So, while they are investigating cabbage, fine, what are you doing with that time that they're being... Um. I'm hallucinating that they actually are human heads because I did take all my mushrooms last night. I'm still pretty fucked up. <laughs> oh, you you guys just watch as a smile. Well, Alton, you would watch as a smile just slowly goes across Fade's face as she's looking down at her toes. <laughs> That's right. She's a little. All right, Edward. Yeah, I'm what? just trying to find a basic clothing store. What is your path to this clothing store? You were about right around here. Where? Uh, right here. I'm putting the arrow out way around it. Oop. I don't see the arrow. Wait, I'm on GM. There we go. Okay, right around here. Yeah. There. there we go. Let's enter that. Still, oh now I see it. Okay, well, I'd like to take the direct route, but I also don't want to go to the slums again. <laughs> do it, do it. I think I don't really want to go to the docks either. Maybe you got a swan. I hope not. I feel like the shortest way would be 300 feet this way. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go the direct to the market this way. Uh, I'd also like to say I am have my quarter staff out and I am actively looking around, making sure no one gets too close to me. All right, as you go through, give me a perception check. Hey. All right, uh, you manage to ward off everyone, and you do see something out of the corner of your eye moving closer towards you. You take your quarter staff and you whack at it. Um, well, as, it, like, just like, as it was kind of like it was moving at you from like above, and that kind of like alerted you. Uh, oh, since yeah. you didn't actually get a full good look at it before you whacked at it, it was just coming at you from above. All right, so what I hit? So you look at your cool stuff. There was a piece of paper wrapped around the end of it. <laughs> I'll take it for now, and I'll read it once I'm in the marketplace. All right. So you continue onwards. I do want to real quick um, jump to um, around this time. Holden, you feel something poking you in the back of the head. And then it just kind of like wraps around towards the back of your head. It's a piece of paper. Uh, what do you want, Ozzy? I'm going to take the paper and read it. Dear Holden, <clears throat> as the... Yes. No, wait. One, wait. One, two, three, four. No, Holden didn't get one. I like to imagine this is like what it says on the paper. <laughs> right. He found us. On a random piece of paper. He, he like... grabbed a napkin from the table and just like started writing that down. And I was like, oh, well. <laughs> You sent one off to fine? Yes, I sent one to fine, Jack, Riker, uh, Alton, and... That's four. That's four. Wasn't there another person? Oh, I guess he I guess he did get one then. So that's how sure, your letter started off was, uh, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> he was mucking down tallies for the paper. <laughs> I'm just counting you. <laughs> like, wait a... Okay. Dear Holden... How do you know my first name? Dear Cross. There you go. 
all of this written down. I really just made this one for show because I wanted to show off to a woman named Olivia. We're in the upper quarter. Remember that map that you have? Follow that. I'll see. I want. <laughs> I don't have a pen. I don't have a. I don't have a pencil or a pen. Dang it. So. Oh. All right, and doing this, um, fine. You saw a a fifteen winged pterodactyl eat off across his head, and then all of a sudden another one starts coming straight for you. I duck down. Oh. <laughs> you feel a slight poking on your back, and then just a piece. A piece oh of a uh, potato just slowly drops to the ground. Potato skin. Potato skin, yes. I did not know that you were talking to Fine at first. I thought you were talking to Holden. <laughs> I really. Uh, I pick it up and I'm reading this potato skin. <laughs> what does. Okay, keep in mind that this is fully drugged out. What does the potato skin say? Oh, this is terrible, because for some reason, when I was like, I don't know why, but Aussie considers, aside from Riker, find the most responsible person. Why? <laughs> Just because she's elven. I mean, to be so, responsible. So, one of, someone else might want to just cross-reference this letter. But, um, so Potato Skin, drugged out, um. I think I could read it all. I just, I'm imagining it as something. Oh, okay. Do you want the Do you want the drugged up version or the normal version then? Uh, a mix of both. Let's go for it. Okay. In all caps letters in Elven. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you hear the words coming off the page in Aussie's voice. Is this is <laughs> And then it says, "I'm flying up." College. Yay! <laughs> Gonna sleep in a tavern tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, in perfect legible script, in serious regards, Osiandus. <laughs> and then a stick figure that's dancing. Oh, I need a drink. It's doing the cabbage patch. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have to give him a minute now. <laughs> the end of production. Oh, see, I have an inspiration that was beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> that is not the tank have been broken. Yeah. D just, just take the inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. <laughs> okay. Um, Edward, um, basically it's gonna leave off with, uh, you eating that. Edward, um, you make your way through the, uh, market, give me an investigation as you look for a clothing store. Oh. Oh my god. That was so good it broke the dam in the tank. <laughs> I okay, deserve 3,000 gold for that joke. Oh, let's regain does. composure. No! <laughs> that was the uh, funniest thing all day. <laughs> you find the witch's hat, which looks to be a somewhat moderate clothing store. Yeah, that'll do. Oh yeah, by the way, this time I'd probably read the paper. Alright. Uh, 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 this is Edward, yes? Yes. Yes. Hello, Edward. Dearest Arcanist and friend, next to Riker. I would also at this point like immediately fold on the paper so Edward isn't showing. <laughs> oh, it, it would have said Jack. Sorry, it would have said Jack. It says Edward, but then it's like crossed out, and then it says Jack. Sure. Yeah, I'm still pulling um, the paper over anyway. Okay. Um, Riker and I have gone to the upper quarter of the city. We're staying in a tavern tonight. Oh wait, no. Well, I'm staying at a tavern tonight. I think he also went to a tavern. Um. I think I got a job at the Heaven Bard concert area. Um, I'm going to be teaching the there for the next week. It's going to be great. 
Um, I will meet you all at the entrance to the upper district in an hour or three. You know, one of them. Love, Aussie. I mean, what time of day is it? I'll, I'll say at you. sunset. At sunset. What time of day is it now, Cross? Um, it's about maybe three. Well, with a long sigh, I fold up the piece of paper and go to the witch's hat. Alright, as you go in, there is a woman with about 15 hats on her head and, like, a big, puffy, purple hairdo underneath. She has about as much makeup as Aussie would whenever he's trying to look nice for the day. Um... Which is almost always. Which is almost always. Not on the ground in a fear dimension, though. Oh no, he carries that shit with him. Yeah. Hmm. He has a little compact and a powder puff. Uh, she doesn't seem to have noticed you whenever you walked in. There's several different hats that cool. line the wall, and then there's also, in the middle of it all, a few different things of clothes. Well, um, I'll probably start looking at the clothes, and I should probably get her attention, like, uh, hello there. Oh, hello there! Oh my gosh, aren't you just the cutest thing ever? But we simply yes. must do something about that. If I may, she kind of waves a hand out towards you, putting her, putting her hand out. Uh, I go towards her. Alright, her hand is still out. Alright, take her hand, I should say. Alright, the grime seems to slowly just, like, float off of you beginning at your hand, slowly climbing up your arm, and then cleaning off your face and hair. And then the rest of you. Uh, thank you. No problem. Now, um, what can I do for today? Well, I uh, came in here looking for some clothes that don't make me look like a walking fruit salad. So I'm guessing you what? don't want that one. She points over at a fruit salad costume. No. Okay. That, would, that would be correct. You Are you not going to get a costume for the uh, Soul Helm? Uh, I would. Maybe. It depends on the price. Hmm. Uh, what would you be looking right for? Well, for right now, I'm trying to find some decent clothes, and, uh... Well, I've been wanting this for a while. I don't suppose you have one of those, you know, old-fashioned wizard hats... The really big ones, the tall top, real colorful. I might have one. <laughs> Stars on it. Yeah. <laughs> you ask the woman who runs the place that's literally called the Witch's Hat? Yeah, oh. yeah, I, I know. <laughs> Subtext. Good job. Alright. So, um, she goes through the hats for a moment, and pulls out, like, the big, like, Mickey Mouse, um, magic hat. With, like, the three different stoves on it. It's bright blue with, like, a silver brim. Yeah, he's trying to hold in a grin. Uh, yes, uh, how much for, uh, that one? Oh, that'll be one gold. I hand her the one gold. She takes the gold and smiles. And you were looking for some other clothes? Uh, yes, some, uh, oh. I suppose a bit more common clothes, maybe. Oh, here, here, I have just the thing. She pulls out a bright purple shell girl dress. You mean what a you robe? Think? Nope, it is a shell girl dress. Like, it's, um, spokely. With like feathers on the bottom, and it's bright purple. You have anything a little less, uh, I guess, gold? Oh, 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 um, hmm. Let me see here. She begins rifling through the clothes, and then looks back over at you. Actually, one second. Um, she takes out a piece of rope. And so it's just like, without your consent or anything, just starts taking your measurements. 
Yeah, I don't object. <laughs> Rope trick. Can I just oh. make my own investigation to look at the clothes? Uh, yes. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Well, if all the ones get in that one, I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> you look over it. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. Just everything in this. It hurts your eyes. So much color. Yeah, it, it, it probably would. It's like looking in Aussie's brain <laughs> when he's using telekinetic thoughts. Tele... What's it called? Telepathy. Uh, yes. We can define mind. Alright, how about this? Um... Actually, what is your budget? I might have something rather nice for you, if you're interested in that. Oh, are you looking oh, to yeah. just... I suppose the max I would go for would be 10 gold. Hmm. You guys must have, like, a lot of gold, because... I have 9, but I'm supposed to sell stuff. I forgot. It's I had 130, but, uh, you know... <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to go for working at the college. What are you talking about? Oh. So, she does pull out this extremely, like... It looks like it's rather fine, however you can tell that there's a few different flaws in the fabric that maybe over the course of a few years it would break it down, but it's extremely nice and... Um, it's reds. Maybe it looks like it's supposed to be silken, but you can tell it's definitely some other kind of material that's probably cheaper. And it has a few different gold embroidering on it. It's, um... It's rather nice. Alright, how much? Um... Uh, well... Typically something like this goes for about 20 gold. But, um... Let's just say tomorrow, since you're here for the festival and everything, just come by and, uh, give me some spirit spirits. Some spirits? Some spirits. You're gonna be here for the festival, right? Uh, yeah, I plan to. Good, darling. That's good, darling. Um, and you're not from this area, are you? Uh, nah. Oh. Bit of a drifter. I understand, I understand. I was a little bit wild back in my day, too. She gives you a little bit of a nudge. Right. Want a cup of sugar, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> so... So, using the, uh... So typically it's 15 gold, but... Just, um, send some people my way. Maybe, uh, I definitely want you to stop by. I love the little spirits. They haven't done it in... It's been about three years since the last one. I'm really looking little forward spirit. to it. Uh, what did you say? You can ask it sounded like she said the little spirits. Yeah, she did. Uh, what are the little spirits? Oh! Um, well, typically the Black Hearts used to make the border between this world and whatever lies beyond thinner, and all of the all of our ancestors that watch over us can be seen. The ones that oh, yeah, don't that. have anything to speak, they just kind of, well, float around as little tiny things. Oh, here, actually, um, she takes out a sweater, and it has, like... On the front of it, it has the design of, like, this little white fluff ball with, like, trailing white mist behind it. Oh, shit. Alright. It's one of these. By the way, would you like a sweater? Um, nah, I think I'm trying to watch my budget. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, so... Um, they typically, whenever merchants see them as good luck, the more of them that you have at the end of the festival, the better the year is supposed to be for you. Okay, so I'll try and get as many as I can. Yes, and then I wouldn't mind if you stopped by and dropped a few off. Yes, and I think I might know a guy 
we might really be into what you're selling. Oh, that would be wonderful. Yeah, he's one of those bar types. He loves this kind of thing. Oh! Boats still come down here? Hmm. Huh. Typically, they don't ever leave the rise. Yeah, don't worry about it. I do. do, do, do. Hmm. Well, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. She, um, rushes up to you and, like, rifles through the pockets of the clothes that she just gave you and pulls out a few different dust and plants. And moves back over. Sorry about that. Alright, can I make an arcana check to see if I know what she pulled out? Give me a nature check. Get you have those low no clue. Alright, I'll say like, eh, it's a good thing you caught that I don't actually be stealing something from you. Oh yes, um, pretty much everybody around here is in that kind of side business. Wait, what is she this? Oh, uh, I think I know what she pulled out. Well, uh, see you tomorrow. And I walk off with the new clothes. Toodaloo! Toodaloo. Probably find a... Alright, can I also try and find, like, a... Because I can't afford the five golden knight in, so... Is there a different end around yeah. there? Yeah. Riker's not staying there for very long, either. I'm kind of hoping that, like, the Bard College is gonna pay me and maybe give me a room. <laughs> As the right. only Riker, professor, teacher, Riker wants to live in style for at least one night. That's what he's doing. Uh, give me a investigation check as you search around for a tavern. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So it's not too hard to ask around and um eventually find. A tavern called... well, it looks like it's sort of like a casino. It's rather close by where the drop-down is. You see a little tornado off in a... behind rather fine-looking gates, um... where the props come down. There is a... rather large building that... looks like it's possibly a casino, but you've been told by many different people that it is a tavern. There were several people going in and out of it. I suppose I'll peek inside. Uh, you look inside, you see a few people playing different hands of different games. Um, you see lizard races and uh, dice being thrown. And there are several people sitting down drinking. Lizard race? I exit the bar, this is not my place. I do not belong here. Alright, you leave the bow. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably just, uh... I guess I'll probably try and keep looking for another Wait, bar. you're a noble and you can't afford the nice place? I spend all my money on you, remember? That was, getting you away from the... that was your own decision. Give me another investigation. I didn't you make wanted to be a drider? There were other ways to solve that, rather than just lording the fact that you paid off a spider. Look, I'm not happy about it, alright? I've done like... things for you! I know, I said we were even, I'm just saying I'm pissed then off. Then stop bringing it up! You asked me why I didn't <laughs> have any money, you asked why I couldn't- Okay, you know, let's just drop this. You managed to yeah. find one other, uh, tavern. It's called the Black Thumb. Mm -hmm. Um, what as you like? begin walking around towards it, you see a few different people give you a look as you are just Decently fine. These people look a little rough. Um, one of them's kind of like tossing up and catching a dagger over and over again. And they're all hanging out just right outside of this building. It looks a little bit run down, but there's still some people going in and out of it. It's decently busy. Shouldn't the three of us at the docks be looking for? Yeah, I think I'm gonna hold. No. I think I'm gonna hang out here at the meeting point. Okay. So, uh, back over to the docks then. 